Hi, my name is Allie. I'm with Northwest Registered Agent, and today I'm joined by Danielle. Danielle, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me, Allie. Today we are going to be talking about how to check if your business is in good standing, and we'll talk about how to get your business into good standing if its status is non-compliant or delinquent. So Danielle, a client was wondering how to check if their business is in good standing. What should I tell them? That's a great question, Allie. For a business to be in good standing with the state, they need to be up to date on their state reports, fees, and their business taxes. And luckily, there's a super easy way to check on that. So how will they check on that? They would want to go to the website where they registered their business. In most states, this is referred to as the Secretary of State, but each state has some sort of version of this database where an owner can look up their business. Once they find their business in the search, what do they do next? In most states, you're going to see some sort of status listed next to your business. If your business is in good standing, you might see something like active or in good standing. But if your business is not in good standing, you might see something like non-compliant or delinquent. So if they find out they're not in good standing, how can they fix it? In most states, the business search is actually going to show you why you aren't in good standing. And it could be something as simple as missing an annual report. In that case, you would just need to file the late annual report and pay any associated fees. However, if the reason isn't indicated, you would need to call the state office and ask. Okay, so what if the company needs to prove that they are in good standing? In that case, they would want to order a certificate of good standing, which is sometimes referred to as a certificate of status or existence, depending on the state. And in most states, you can order that online and even receive it in the same day. Okay, great. Thanks. So today we learned that for a business to be in good standing, it needs to be up to date with state reports, fees, and business taxes. We also learned that to check your business's status, you should go to the website where you registered your business. In many states, this is the Secretary of State website. This website will have a business database where you can search for your business. Once you've found your business, your business's status should be listed beside it. If it indicates active or in good standing, then your business is in good standing. Your business is not in good standing if it says non-compliant or delinquent. If your business is not in good standing, the business database will often indicate why, such as being late on an annual report. You can usually bring your business back into good standing by filing the report and paying any fees, including any late fees. If the database doesn't indicate why your business isn't in good standing, you should contact the state office and ask. Finally, we learned that if you need to prove your business is in good standing, you can apply for a certificate of good standing. In some states, this is referred to as a certificate of status or a certificate of existence. Thank you so much for joining me and answering all my questions today, Danielle. Of course, happy to help. And if you have a question, leave it in the comments. State paperwork is hard, we can help. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. You can find links to what we've discussed in the description below. We've also picked out two other videos you might find useful. You need tools to build something big, subscribe now.